Yo, what's up? Uh, welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm checking to see if my microphone is on. Do I have the right? Perfect. Okay. In the previous episode... Yeah, that's what happened. I don't know. I'll probably remember when I edited the last episode. Anyways, um, basically, um... <laughs> I'm just going to demonstrate by re-coming here real quick to show you what I've been doing off camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and crack open the cold one. E yeah. This is... Oh my god, I literally just spilled like a majority of Pepsi. Uh, Coke, I mean. Yes, I'm drinking Coke now. All over me, yes. Um, we probably had like 60, 70 Korok seeds. Um... When we were last playing, well, the last episode. But I basically spent, um, a lot of time off camera just grinding Korok seeds, which I'm not doing anymore. Also, hey, I re-dyed the, uh, of the wild outfit to be a bit more of a brighter green. Um, which is just, just the hat and the tunic, the, the pants, I'm just keeping it as is, because it would look weird if it's not... The way it's supposed to be but anyways um yeah um i think this might be um enough to fully max out the shield stash there we go i think because it was like 15 for a while <laughs> you know i love duping in this game oh yep i predicted right I can expand your shield stash. No further. Sorry. Okay, so we've basically got one out of two um, stashes. No, one out of three stashes um, maxed out. Um, so that means we have like a total of like two more stashes left. But um, I basically want to do all the shield stash just because I felt like it to be honest um there we go so now I have an inventory full of uh durability up highly in shields um so the reason this one isn't double because I think having double highly in shields is literally just too overpowered for like a specific for like a playthrough so um yeah um <laughs> So basically, um, if this one breaks, I'm just going to go to the guy in Terrytown and just get it removed. Um, which I doubt that's pretty much going to happen, but you know, you never know. Um, anyway, so basically, we have, um, uh, five, ten... We have twenty shields. Um. Two times, uh, nineteen is thirty... Eight... 39 Hylian Shields, and 4 at the Reserve, back at the Terrytown. Um, anyways, so I finally, um, mastered the whole, well, not really mastered, I guess, but I guess I finally figured out, um, the whole, um, pristine shit. So, um, it's, it's usually around here where I get a bunch of, uh, the Royal Guard shit. Um... Which is, like, basically one of the better weapons. And also some, uh, Gerudo weapons. Gerudo weapons, I think, are, like, probably one of the better weapons. Because it doubles, um, the, uh, the damage for, um, fused weapons. Like, fused material. So, as you see, like, it's 55 for, uh, Silver Lionel Saber Horn. It's 110. Um, also, unfortunately, we do not have any whereabouts of any, uh, DLC in the future. Um... Thank you, Nintendo Direct. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm thinking one of the small amount of people that was actually slightly disappointed with the newest Nintendo Direct. But, you know, it's my opinion. Um, just like it is your opinion. So, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, so, yeah, I did some stuff off camera. Um, I don't really think I did a whole lot with um, stuff. Um, I think, however, I might have got some more things in the album. Um, I think this one I need to showcase. Because I think I did something, I don't know. Maybe I showed this before. Maybe I, like, did something else. I don't know. 
I, I was using my uh, my overpowered master sword throughout all this because why the hell not? Um, I think I collected a chest or something, and it was like uh, sage something, or I don't know. I can't necessarily remember. Oh, that's what happened. That's literally what happened. That glitch happened. I think that was actually in an episode or something. This one, um, I don't know, maybe I already showcased this off. I can't recall, um, I really can't remember what I did here. What, 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 was, I, what was I doing here? I know I was hunting Korok seeds. I think that's what I wanted to show off. Yeah, that was... That was pretty much it. No, I will never. Not yet. Not yet. Um, maybe I might have, like, upgraded some armor. I do know I have to sell a... Fob Meadow Helm. Um... Yeah, that's why I'm pretty much here. Um... Anyway, um... We basically have a lot of stuff we need to do before we tackle on Ganondorf, which... I'm really excited to go fight his ass again, but, you know, I just need to get... Uh, uh. You know, I just need to get through some, uh, crap. Um, also, um, I found the shrine here. And right here is another Phantom Ganon fight. Also, right here is a Phantom Ganon fight. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more Phantom Ganon fights. I literally also found one here. Um, basically anywhere where there's a skull on the, uh, map here. There's also one right here. But anyway, anyway, like I said before, any skulls that's on the overworld map is Phantom Game fights. Down here is just bosses and stuff here. We also have um, another amiibo armor that we need to collect down here. Um, okay, so um, I need to like not watch any more uh, Let's Players play the game because uh, there's a lot of stuff that they're doing that I have yet to do. So one thing I need to do... I need to find, uh, I need to find the last one of these. Which I have no idea where it is. Uh, we got Bravery Island, we have Courage Island. Um, and also there's actually a way we could actually get rid of this. Um, apparently, you're actually supposed to do that. Before doing it, but I guess I just got completely lucky. Um, okay, I found it. This is, is this where I gonna go? I don't. No. That's a little bit of a sus island. I don't know, but I was going to say we probably be very difficult to get there, but no, that's not the case because I have ways to get up there now. Anyway, um, I need to find the last piece of the glider set because I'm just going to go ahead and like showcase it. If you upgrade it and you wear all three of them, you basically take no fall damage and that's actually pretty fucking dope. Now, let's see. What do I want? Where do I want to go? Um, you know what? Um, we. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and take on the last labyrinth, because um, because why the hell not? Oh, also, I need to showcase meals, because I've done some meal prepping. Um, a lot of it is just the same, but I've been trying to um, well, come up with new recipes, because cooking in this game is kind of fun when you make new shit. So, um, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I managed to actually craft, um, okay, hold on, let me actually get into some, uh, warmer armor. Hold on, I do not want to put that on, I want to put all my snow boots. Okay, um, so yeah, I basically think we're pretty much fine for the rest of the game in terms of health recovery. I got a lot of stamina recovery, a lot of enduring stuff, and then I just... Got, like, some miscellaneous foods here. Um, anyway, um, let me see. Check recipe. I need to find the pizza. Because, um, I have a 20... I got a 15 plus... Yeah, I got that much. I thought I had a 20 plus 1 heart recipe for a, a, highly, in, a highly in tomato pizza, but... Oh, well, um... There's also, um, y yeah, I decided to see how much, uh, salmon, salmon risotto would, uh, heal without 
having the hardiness into it. Uh, you put in a stamina bass and it just gives like 12 hearts. Um, I will say cooking things with um, a uh, apple, golden apple, is very interesting to say at least. Because um, for fruit, for like vet, for like um, recipes where you need it, like these ones here where it has like a lot of health, that's mostly due to golden apples. Um, so is a uh, hot butter apple. Um, pretty much anything with like. Golden apples, your <laughs> some reason I got milk. It's trying to make like a cake or something, but instead she's like, Yeah, that equals milk, man. But yeah, um basically what I found out is that golden apples, they um they basically just like give a crit a a, a, a uh, luck crease for like making um a, I don't know. I, I don't really know how to say it. It's just a it's just a food item that can um just like I don't even know the term of it. Just give you like some like it gives you like a crit chance of like increasing the meals or something. Just like we cook cook during the blood moon or anything. Um. Yeah. If, if you got a gist of it from my statement, um, you're 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 different. You're you're built different. Um. Okay, yeah, so I killed that one over there. Um, honestly, fight, fighting these Glee Rocks now, they're not really that threatening anymore. Um, I should probably actually summon the rest of the homies. Shut up, bitch. I know I can summon here. Um, so basically, I keep mentioning this. Mentioning this um, basically, what I'm planning to do for the rest of the game is just complete uh, as many as all, all. I'm going to try to complete all the side quests and all the shrines as possible. There's actually one place I want to go to right after we're done here. So, if you guys recall, um, back at Kakariko Village, we weren't able to check out the ring ruins. It's because uh, someone's like. Princess Zelda has told us not to because it's dangerous and shit. And we're just like, well, that ain't Zelda anymore. So I'm thinking with her um, being revealed as not Zelda, this is a good time as ever to actually go ahead and actually see if we could check those runes out. Um, oh god. I need to reach my friend. I mean, it's on the way. I can, I can even showcase a new build I, yeah. that I created. Um, well, I. All right. Um, so basically, I made a new bike and I made this too. But mostly, if we're going to be doing much traveling, it, we're just going to be utilizing this. If we need to fly. Hold on. I'm not going to take on this shrine. I'm just unlocking it because. Literally fuck trying to climb up uh, that with the sticky gear. I don't even know if the sticky gear will help us climb up that well because I feel like the stick the, the sticky gear is kind of a bit of a hit or miss um, I mean you'll still slip you know with the full set. Maybe there might be uh Maybe you upgrade it fully. It will allow you to like be completely immune to the slipping effects um Unfortunately, this uh, Korok weighs like a fucking brick. Um, because it just completely uh, discombobulates my, uh, the steering and all this stuff. It just gets really difficult, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, anyway, I want to go ahead and check out this uh, labyrinth because there's one left. There's more than likely going to be like a shrine or whatever. Here you go. Take it and shove your ass. Here, I'll take the uh, two croc seeds. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, for the Nintendo Direct, I was really hoping we would get, like... My, my main two predictions were... Um, finally, um, ports for Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. And uh, any news on DLCs for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Not yet. Uh, the zone I carved in Slabber eats a drab... Dragon Ring slumbers in the Labyrinth's depths. Wake it and... Okay. Of course we do. So... 
Okay, of course, I leave my ghost. If I take a... Okay, I can't take a picture of this. I've also been taking a picture of, like, as many of the... Things I could find. Um, what things am I talking about? The, um, stone glyphs that we need for a quest. I literally don't care. I'm gonna stuff my dick. I'm honestly just waiting for the phantom again and just to, like, peer out of freaking nowhere and just try to end my life. Also, um, I'm a little bit sick in this episode. And I was also, um, <coughs> recording some Persona 5, finally. And I was a little bit sick of that episode, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I basically just took a day off from work and just recovered. Um, I saw with great enthusiasm, but so far I haven't found anything other than an endless supply of bare coal. This is only ever going to bother to carve a stone, a note to the slab. Could they have etched a few hints in there too? How long has that slab been there anyway? Don't remember, I think I might be remembering it wrong, but I don't think it was there before the upheaval. I feel like the timeline between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is like... Literally wacky. Like, there's a lot of people that remember you. There's some that don't. Um, I don't know. It's it's just a bit on the odd side. I don't know. I think a lot of people are noticing the tune. They're getting a little bit annoyed. Um, I'll use the mighty construct bow because it's like the weakest so far, and I need a new bow slot anyway. No! I didn't make it in time. I kinda wish there was at least like some sort of like... Oh wow, that looks interesting. A bit of um, you know, plot awareness or something. So that like, it... I mean it does um, intertwine with Breath of the Wilds, but like not all of it. Like, Dairy Town. That's like an anomaly in and of itself. At least like only one person there remembers us and it's just Hudson and Ronson and everyone else does it. I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Basically, the gist of it is if they were important to like a story or something, they remember you. If not, then it's like they just meet you for the first time. Also, we do not know how many years has passed since Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'm assuming like Five to six years? Some people are thinking like maybe like seven to eight years has passed. Which, if that's the case, Jesus Christ, these are literally the oldest. This is literally the oldest Link we've had in a uh, series. Well, I don't know about Hyrule Warriors Link, but at least like majority of the Links that we've had were at least like, you know, like. Around like, um, like a fucking preteen to like teenager, like the adult links are around like. I don't need any more shields. So we literally have like fucking adult, adult, legal adult it's here. Which I've gotten the gist of when we played through, uh, episode 13. After shivering coal and carrying from the doom, I finally made it. The pathway leaves in the center of the ruins. There's trail lights here that almost beckon me in. Must be due to that due compensation the slab mentioned. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna assume either Phantom Ganon is somewhere else, or he's just, like, a bit ahead. But we literally have not found, ran into Phantom Ganon yet. But, well, you know, that it is what it is. I'm okay with that. Uh. Okay. <coughs> I heard a shine. It's literally, like, around the corner. There we go. Hey, there we go. Yay, I love burning down shit. Uh, day four. At long last, I've done it. I found a relic of the Zonai civilization, though my euphoria is short-lived. My hour since my discovery, I tried touching and hitting and yelled at the relic, but it remains unresponsive. Sorry for you that I might not unravel the secrets of the zone. After all, the thought makes 
The cold even more bitter. Well, fine. I suppose it's time I crawl out of this frigid pit and issue my report my investigation. Cool. Oh, shit. My bad. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. The hell was that? I'm not the only one that heard that noise, yes? It's like some sort of screeching. No! Shut up, Rauru! Not that Rauru, the fucking... Shut the fuck up, Owl. <laughs> Holy shit, sounds like it's pouring out, guys. Anyway, I heard... Oh, yep, there we go, boys. There we fucking go. Um, okay. Got a little bit of shock factor. Let's go, bitch. No, let me go, you cucks. Okay, which Ganon are we fighting now? Okay, Katana Wheel one. Okay, so here's something I noticed. Okay, here's what I found out. Okay, so... Okay, so the Master Sword, it... It beams up whenever we're fighting, like, a gloom-covered enemy or something. Um, and also, what I found out from Austin John Plays is that the Master Sword, um, increases damage by half. So, from 30 to 15, and apparently it doesn't break. Like, the durability is halted or something? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'd like to know. Get over here, man. Now we go. I guess the lad's at you again. Still got it. I kind of hope this is just a blessing. Of course it is. Thanks, Rauru. I need the blessing. Don't need any more of those. <laughs> oh, hello. Give me something good to eat. Thank you for good battery. Owie. That basically just tripled the fucking speed. Speaking of speed, I'm gonna go snort some coke. One of my brother would help me with a shrine. He has some phys physics. Okay. You know, I could just shoot a bomb arrow at it. Like, easier said than done. Thank you. I'm also going to do something that's called a big brain move. That wasn't as big brain as I thought it would. That was fun. Alright. Let's see, now for this one... I, I'm actually surprised I got that in. I actually got that in. I didn't, I, I didn't even think that would actually work, but okay. I'm not going to complain about that. Ooh, there's actually a star thing over there. So I should probably go check that out in a, 
in a little bit, just so we can get a bit more lore. Alright. Okay, we did power, courage, now wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. Then we go down to the bottom and we do it. Oh, there's also, I think, like a few more, um, uh... Coliseums? Or maybe I've done all the Coliseums? I can't, I can't remember. Uh, I know I did this Coliseum, the forest one that got us the Korok, that gave, that gave us the Korok one mask, uh, the underground cemetery gave us the Sheikah mask, um, let's see, uh, ah, shit, where is it, this one gave us, um, another thing, and... This one gave us Ravi's mask. Unless I'm like thinking there's another one or something. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, I should probably just like there we go. All right. You know the drill at this point. I'll see you when I collect all four of them. That wasn't. All right, that's now three. All right, last one. After we have technical difficulty. <laughs> All right. No chest over there. There is a chest over there. And a Korok leaf. Uh what if there's gonna be a little Korok thing on top of all the uh sky labyrinths? Also, I should actually probably check my emails. No, nothing. <sighs> Sad boy hours. We you you you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it's on my first rodeo. <coughs> Geronimo! Oh. 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 Alright, time to get my gear on. Ow. Okay, we've been here before. Um... So we just need to go under here and then just start kicking ass. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh, I somehow managed to actually knock it off. Get him, boys! That was easy. I'll be a little bit annoying, but you know what it is, what it is. Yay, you who have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. This trial was a test of your talents, and overcoming it, you've shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In the name of the ruler of owls, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. I'm a wreath and overworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. Take it now. I'm gonna fight Ganondorf with this armor on. Just have the dust claymore out, the Sword of the Seven Sages. I really wish it was still called the uh, Sword of the Seven Sages. <laughs> uh, 
But you know, I guess they had a good reason to change it. Except that the reasoning is I don't fucking know. Some believe these greaves are, are inspired by a malevolent entity. They're rather rare find. All right, we now have the uh, disguise bone weapon proficiency. Well, we now look like Ganon fucking dwarf. Um. Yeah, um. There's this Phantom Ganon from uh, Ocarina of Time. First boss fight. Anyway. Let's head to Kakariko. We got a few things I need to do. God damn it. I can't hit, I can't fit that many. Uh. Okay, um. I want to solve that. I also want to solve this. Any more repeats? Actually, I do know I have one more repeat that I need to sell. There we go. Alrighty, okay, now that we're here, we can finally go ahead and check out these ring runes. That we weren't able to check out for God knows how long. Alright. Hello, boys and girls. Ah. Master Link, good evening. Oh. Are you thinking about the flown ring rune? I am as well. It's been on our minds for some time. Mm. We'd like to suggest resuming the research if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Well, you see... What? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Prince Zelda's talisman fa- I kn what? How long are we going to delude ourselves for? How could this be true? Such an unbelie unbelievable tale, and yet, I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It's hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean... The real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring rune was because the Demon King saw as a threat, isn't that right? That means that means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring rune immediately. Mm. You're exactly right. There is no longer any reason to pro prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring rune at once, Mr. Toro. Uh. No, just tell me on the line. Time to reveal its results. <laughs> your loathing phrasing is coming through, Mr. Toro. You must really be pleased. Aww. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. Clearly the interior of this ring rune is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. I, I got this. If the contents of the other ring runes are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious runes. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. I was lost in thought. I better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can help up the ruins. Hurry up, bitch! Wanna see what we've been missing out on for like 40 episodes. Oh, this is the main quest. Secret of the Ring Ruins. Alright, we can finally... Yes, we can finally go in. Oh, finally. It's been like... How many hours? 135 hours. But we can finally enter the floating ring ruins. That uh, looks like this will be something. I love that like the first thing I do is just go back here. <coughs> Yeah, I'm allowed to climb this bitch. Okay, sick. What the hell did I just do? I'm a little insulted by that. I'm insulted more by this. Now the perfect angle just... That was unfortunate. Well, there's the opening. Right on a conveniently placed mat.
There we go. Doubt I can read it. Yeah, I literally can't read it. Oh no, how am I to get out of here? Well, I'm finally glad we're able to actually explore these things. It's like all over the god dang place. Uh... Okay, I do see there's one all the way up there. Oh, but we already done that. <sighs> Shit. God damn it. Okay, there's one right there, but no my luck I've already done that. So I don't know where it is. My process of elimination. I'm gonna go ahead and fucking say it's over here. It does seem to be the best option anyway. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, solve this bitch. That sucked. Hey, lads. Did I see you go inside of the floating ring ruin? I just... No, never mind. It's nothing. I just clearly playing tricks on me. Looks like you disappeared into the ring. But that can't be right. Ah, uh, for guys. What about this image? What's this you got? Huh? Could it, could it really be? Paya! Caleb! Look at this! It's not going to spy- There we go. No. Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. Ah. There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well. Just like in the other ring of ruins. Toro, if you would. Uh. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise Zelda, solemnly sign, Minoru Sage of... Hide the key southeast and trust wish a future wish defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. So I'm learning I can't figure out before. Southeast. But Minoru seems to be someone's name. We already got this out of the way. No. Look, context of Minoru. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. Also mentioned Zelda and Demon King. How fascinating. <laughs> Aha! The inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Mm hmm. hmm. Oh, you're right. Pie knows her stuff. This should read as Dragonland, southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. <gasps> oh, thank goodness I've proven useful. Seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, no, I'm being upstage. Uh. Ahem. Where were we? Something about a Dragonland to the southeast? Hmm. Mm. How familiar are you with southeast? Hyrule, the sighting pharaoh that has been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs in those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Caleb! Great catch! The Zonai ruins of Pharaon! It's a good chance that exactly what this is pointing at us. Mm. Or pointing us at. That's our Caleb! Fantastic work! Oh. I, uh, what did you just say? <laughs> that, this inscription is pointing us toward Pharaon's Zonai ruins? Oh. No, not that. The next bit. Sort of. Ad shift was used. I believe it started with fan and then with tastic. What was it again? Mm. Ah, fantastic work you mean? <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm. Yes. Caleb, what fantastic work he said. Fantastic uh. me. Oh. Like when we put together the script in the stone slab and translate it, we get we get definite mentions of a sage Minoru, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. So relate all three that must be waiting at the Zonai ruins in Southeast Hyrule. We landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we know what time to dawdle. This research will be done. <laughs> Kale, will you join me? Oh, of course I will be. Ahem. Fantastic addition to the team. Mm. Very good. With that cell, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins and Pharaon. First, we have Southwest. We'll establish a base in the pop of the foothills of the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Okay. In search of new discoveries, we make for Pharaon. Hmm. Cool. They just, they left, just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Toro and Caleb. I'll also continue pursuing our research of the Ring Ruins. And as the village chief, Making this an exciting place, of course. 
We have you to thank for for all that we accomplished here, Master Link. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Can I stay with you again? I actually don't know if I did in my Let's Play of Breath of the Wild last year, but you can. Have you seen the um, speed run of Sleep with Papaya? The uh, Get Laid speed run? Um, find stone tablet. Uh, we have 12 tablets left. Oh. Find more stone tablets on your travels. Get some visual evidence and show me. I got several pictures. Oh. I'll get right to translate it. Oh, aha, incredible. Oh. It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Uh, I am, uh, Minru, the king's elder sister, falso, her, what? Of late, she of constructs vessel for a spirit with what? So she may live long in spirit fused within this construct. Um, you know what? Just, 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 just fucking translate this shit for me, bro. Uh. Here's where we learn a bit about Minoru. It says that she neglected to eat or sleep while making some call a construct. It's part of a research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body should her original one die. Mm. To you and I, this sounds like history, more like a sort of a ghost story. Remember who we're dealing with. They may have, they may have had unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Minoru was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me. And yet, oh. the Chamberlain to inscribe these stone tablets treats Minoru with such care and kindness that warms my heart. Very good. I thank you. Not just with words, but this as well. Let me add that to the collection. According to stone tablet, we have 11 more. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Is this the last? Is this going to be the rest of the Let's Play? Mm. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh. First hand. Mm. Something found in Hyrule, hardship, something, Minoru, the king's elder sister, something, the kingdom. Princess Zelda tells her that the future shall be something, a champion. Birth from the skies come between the two. The Jesus Christ, just fucking like translate this to me, man. Oh. It's unbelievable. The details are unclear, but essentially the Chamberlain trusted in Minoru and Zelda's predictions and wanted to help. She put forth the suggestion to Minoru to build mechanisms that can make her stone tablets float in the sky. Oh. We have to take out the very tablets you found, Link. Simply incredible. If find the fa fantastic devices they built to preserve these records, you fulfilled the wishes you wrote of here. It doesn't hear. Huh? If I read this right, it suggests that the Zelda work with Minoru to raise the Temple of Time to the sky. They do have a Temple of Time, a grand... Edifice, edifice, ed, ed, edifice, edifice, build the, the in the ancient era being lifted to the skies to wait a hero. Ooh. Trust me, that's what it says. Trust my source. Trust me, bro. Although given the upheaval of the Sky Islands after, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Although given the appearance of the Sky Islands after the upheaval, perhaps it's not so far fetched as it seems. There's so many revelations here. My chan my hand. Um. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the Stone Tablet, look at land, we have 10 left. <laughs> this valuable deserves a special. What? What are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Ah. I put what you brought me over there. Oh, mm. I see. Oh. I more stone tablets. Uh, please document with a picture. Oh. 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 What? I oh. thought I had more. Did I just take like duplicates? Well, shit. Um. That's a bit of annoyance. Um. There was one all the way in the depths, though. Okay, there it goes. Ancient text. Uh, I do know that. Well, I thought I got that one. I'm so fucking confused. Okay, whatever. Um. 
thought I had a lot more, but clearly I was wrong. Oh. Let's get out here. Come to learn about the Zonai from expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It may not seem like much compared to the sky that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. From oh. forward, our research will proceed from here. Toro has already gone out to the Zonai ruins. If memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation around Dracozui Lake. I don't know exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast, you should find the Zonai ruins he volunteered to inspect. Oh. Says so it's night now, and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept out of his work at the site? This man is absolutely indef... 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 indefatigable? Well, it's literally this way. So, let's get going. Easy. Alright, that's 200. Well, the core force all weird for a while there, but I guess now it's back to... What? Why am I getting this dialogue now? Oh yeah, I remember this place. Um, I mean, obviously. Uh, Shrine of Courage is over there. There used to be a shrine here. I guess that's Toro's diary. Uh, Dear Caleb, the influence of the upheaval spread to the Zone I Ruins. You see this pillar shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be a, a artifacts of that kind around here, an anomaly. And there's more. The rubble of the base of the pillar open, reveal a new a way inside. New discovery. Naturally, we'll be going inside and investigate shortly. Show me as soon as you can. Toro. Okay, so he's in here. Hmm. Interesting. Uh-huh. Came up through all. Figure you will... You would after you made that break through the ring ruins. But listen to this. I already got a wobber of a discovery on my hook here. Look at this. It's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style's unmistakable. So the show miraculous that's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be as uh, scrambled to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try to discover it. But something still loses me. Maybe it was a poem or some, or some kind of code, perhaps? Here, I'll read out loud so we can both get on the same page. Huh. The first part says, Where are the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along- What? Long neck dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. Forest serpent and dragons there? To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins. Designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though. I haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other wide mouth four serpent is there? Maybe the four serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dragozu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar of the tail. Pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. The world's a Zonai charge. And where is this tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure the even greater discoveries await us. One other thing I'm curious about. Oh. Should mention this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Just for the shape, I think there's some inside, but I can't get it open. Mm. Can't grab the code, can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. Let me fix that real quick. fuck is this? Charged shirt used in ancient rituals and made from conductive material. This item produces electricity during storm. Storming weather attack? Hi, I opened the chest up. The outfit you got on. Is, isn't that the same thing the figure the mural is wearing? Where the hell did you find that? It's in the chest. Chest. But that's true. There's nothing else that could be but a guard from the Age of Legends. 
Oh. Now that's a hall to remember. Oh. Still, your outfit is exactly what we see in the mural. Maybe there are other treasure chests containing the rest of the garments. Mm. Problem is, searching for treasure chests without plans is a long shot. Robbie was talking about some about creating some way that would make searching for things simple, though. I have it. <laughs> so you already got a sensor plus feature. That should make our search for treasure chests much easier. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll get back in my regular gear real quick. Um, so I need to find all of them, and... Okay, where are the electric garb hidden the long neck dragons? Along the wide mouth boar serpent. So, if we are thinking this is the mouth... And I guess the the end of this is a tail, yes? Okay, well, I only have one of them. Do I need two of them? I don't know, I'm gonna just put on for a laugh, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> There's also a mouth over here. That'd be way too easy. Unless like a chest somewhere located around here. I'm not I you can't really? Yeah, that's some bullshit, man. I just say that, and, like, the sensor just pops off. Like, there's... Is that in the nose? Ah, uh, why? Okay, fuck it. I know I'm going the wrong way, so I'm just gonna head back. Wait, what? Okay, well, looks like we're actually getting closer to breaking this shield than I originally thought. Well, that's, um, that's interesting to see. Um, this shield has been basically through us. Like, even though I've repaired it and got it with, um, a durability up buff, this has been the one shield I've been using since the episode I was able to fucking, I figured out how to, like, do things, which was, I haven't mentioned it was so fucking easy. But that's actually, that's actually really bizarre. I've only ever broken one Hylian shield in my life. And, well, this is going to be my second. The first one, I think, like, it was literally during my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, and it was broken by them pay to, like, buy a new one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see. So we just have to, like, travel along this path. Thanks, Novo. Okay, I see. Charge trousers using ancient rituals and made from conductive material. This item produces electricity during thunderstorms. All right, looking good. Except that I have no shoes on. But that's okay. I will go rewear my tunic. And I'm just gonna keep walking along this path until I find uh, more. Then when we get to the edge, I'll just. Oh, well, that wasn't too fast. Or Oops. long, I guess. Oh, there it is. The fuck was that sound? Ah. Uh. Don't make me depressed. I have more, but I'm gonna have to like dupe more. I basically duped all those shields 
just to get enough. Just, just so I'm fine when I eventually update my system. Okay, but either way, we finally um, got the charge crap. So now we gotta go to the altar at the tail. And offer a Zonite charge. Do I offer it here? And I do. Anybody cutscene? Uh oh. Oh, that's how we get rid of it. Well, now that's up for exploring. I can go back and relook at look at that place. Oh. Caleb, did you see that? Lightning struck the dragon pillar too. Someone in those ruins? Yeah, it's me. I did it. <clears throat> oh, it's you again. I think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. Never seen lightning strike like that. Even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Okay, so what happened is... Uh. Unbelievable. A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Mm. Great catch. Another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say it's the <laughs> Hall of the Century. Oh. It's a significant discovery, be sure. I like to investigate further, but we have no way to get up there. Mm. You're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. When you report this to Pearl right away. Huh. Caleb, I'm going back to Cat Creek Village. I'm going to arrive up the recent events around the Floating Ring Ruin and report for Pearl. You should stick around here to, to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. No. Remain here? You mean alone? Uh, yes, even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Uh, What's the best game mode? View work is my strongest suit. It's making my chance to make a historic discovery. <laughs> right, leave this to me, Toro. I'll begin preparing at once. I need to head back to our base operations for a bit first. <laughs> huh. Nice. Uh. Really? Uh, okie dokie. Well, either way, we... Oh, wow. Okay, so we actually fought... No, not the charge. God damn it. Oh, well. Well, now we can actually go ahead and explore this place. Um... Cool. Um, the islands do look like a dragon head. Which is, I guess that's where it's called, Dragon Head Islands. <laughs> Remember when I just stumbled across this and was just like, 
let's look at this for a laugh, and then boom, we just got to like another sage. Good memories. Remember, I was just like, the fuck did I just wander my asshole into? Like, what the hell? Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. I slipped. No, oh, I want to go back up. I'm wasting time, damn it. Look at this place, it's so pretty. Now that without the, um, the whole dragon shit going on, I can finally utilize this. We can actually explore this place. And actually have fun on this place. Don't gotta worry about anything else on this place. You know, um, thunder, lightning, not being able to see, not being able to climb. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and explore here. I. I do think we weren't able to, uh, collect something else that was here. The fuck was that? Sound like someone just rose to the goddamn ground, but that's okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay, I'm... There's even some places that still, um... Uh, it's lagging like this for a bit. You can still see that it's like it wants to be thundering. It doesn't want it to be thundering. How do I? How do I make it down here? I thought there'd be more of a path. Clearly, clearly not. Um. Okay. Well, might as well go ahead and do this shrine real quick. Alright, what do we got here? Force transfer. Fuck, am I supposed to do that? Doki. Okay. Okay, it's a lot more easier than I assume. Hold on. Go. So bad. <laughs> Grab this now. And I'm going to try to figure out what to do with this one. Um. Okay. Oh. So, um, what's the purpose of this? Okay. Damn it. Damn. Oh, so I can get it from here, but not when I'm directly under it. I have some mighty weird logic game. It's that easy. Probably not the right way to do it, but I don't know orthodox as shit at these shrines. Okay. And there we 
go. We now have uh, 20 hearts, which means these are going to be some of the best bows in the game. Got so far. But anyways, I think this is a good enough spot as any to end off this episode. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, well, I guess we're back at it again with more um, shrines. Because why the hell not? Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Next time. Peace out, lads.